we can make our way into the resource monitor here and it will tell us dum da da dum 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 <laughs> Hello and welcome back and today I want to talk about upgrading the memory on this, the DS1019 Plus. This, like many Synology NASes, arrived with a supposed limitation to the amount of memory you can install inside. Synology themselves say that the 8GB of memory that this unit arrived with is the maximum amount of memory you can install inside. Luckily I'm pleased to confirm, I say confirm, confirm on behalf of the guys at Span.com that you can indeed install up to 16GB of DDR3L memory inside this Synology DS1019 Plus. But with it, there are a few caveats. First and foremost, this is an unofficial RAM installation. Ergo, this can affect your warranty. So if you are gonna contemplate going ahead with the guide that I'm showing you today, do know that this can potentially invalidate your warranty. And if you are interested in upgrading your DS1019 Plus to 16 gig, or you want to buy a 1019 Plus with 16 gig inside, I thoroughly recommend you check out the guys at span.com who have this unit with 16 gig ready to rock. They'll get it installed for you and offer their own warranty in, in an effort to make sure that you can have this device and not worry too much about your protection as a consumer. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you exactly how to install 16 gig inside this device. Then we're gonna log into the Synology DSM software and I'll show you the 16 gig there ready to be used for virtual machines, Plex, surveillance and more. So let's make our way into the installation of this, get the drives installed, get the RAM installed and get started. Let's go. Right, so I've got all the parts for our 16 gig installation on a Synology NAS here on the table. So the first thing we need to do is remove all of these hard drive bays. I've already done it in advance. I've removed all the drives, drives out of here. These are fresh installs. Um, and what we need to do next is remove the existing memory from the device. Now, if you remove all the bays from this device and you look here on the side, this is why I've chosen this r ridiculous angle, we can see two sticks of four gig memory inside our 1019 plus. We need to press the pins on either side like this and the memory will lift out. Be sure to only grab the sides and the edges of memory as you remove it and move it around. It may seem a little awkward. And again, I'm doing this because I've got a camera in my way, but remove the Synology memory. We'll pop that there. And the same goes for the other memory slot too. And we remove that Synology memory. Next, we need to grab our crucial memory, which for this installation, we're doing two sticks of 16, uh, two sticks of eight even to do 16 gig. And you put them in each of the individual memory slots like so. You'll hear a click and these two pins should be either side of your memory module. Next, we'll put the other stick inside, remove that one there. Make sure to get them right the right way round because you will notice they will only go in one way and you'll know if they've gone in right because the metal clips on either side will click in like so. There we go, our memory has now been installed inside this device, inside both bays. Next, we start installing our hard drives back inside the device. Now again, do try to remember the way in which the drives were put in originally, it won't make a vast amount of difference in an SHR, but pop the drives in one by one and then boot up the device as you normally would. So we'll put these drives in bit by bit. Shut that. Next one inside. And the final drive there of our 5 bay DS1019 Plus inside there. And we've got our drives inside our NAS. Next, we want to connect the device as we normally would. So if we turn to the rear here, we can see that we need to connect our power and our LAN connection. Make sure to in, uh, connect your LAN connection first and then connect your power connector. And make sure you're using the power brick that arrives with your NAS and then install it like so. So I'm going to install the power brick here slightly off camera. Probably heard the click there of the PSU and then the power connector on the rear of our NAS. Here you can see it there. And now our NAS should be ready to go. Let's go. Should see a blue light and we'll leave that there. Not move it around too much because those hard drives. And as for the memory that you remove from your Synology now as well, there's a number of things you can do with that. But for now, keep those to one side in case you ever have to claim the warranty protection on your device. And when you do send this back to Synology, make sure you send it with the old memory still inside. 
But apart from that, let's make our way to the desktop interface, the device we've set these up before, so we're gonna skip that part and go straight into DSM. Right, so here we are, I've made my way onto my desktop here and in the few minutes since I've installed those drives and booted up our 1019 Plus, I can see that it's appeared there on the network. As you can see, no DSM has been installed. So let's DSM, DSM 6.2 to be precise in the making of this video. So we'll make our way into it just like setting up any other Synology NAS drive and we're gonna click setup, there it's found it there. Actually, let's check something while I'm thinking of it. Let's go to device info. Nope, there's no information on the RAM there. And we'll go ahead and install DSM on our Synology NAS. Right, so we've made our way to the DS1019 user interface here. And as we can see straight away, it's the standard DSM. I'm pleased to confirm that the version of DSM on this device is the latest version. Uh, if we double check there, just in case you're wondering about um, compatibility between 16 gig and memory and of course DSM software and we go in your DSM is up to the latest version this video is being recorded um, towards the end of February and I'm pleased to confirm that it is the latest version and if we go one step further along if we go to hardware and power we can see going along here we want the information and on the info center boom 16 gig of memory available on our Synology DS 1019 plus now if we go to the resource monitor for those that are wondering we can make our way into the resource monitor here and it will tell us dum 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 16 gig of available memory and again you can utilize this in a number of ways if you can be running multiple virtual machines this can be useful if you can be running containers via that docker application this could be hugely useful if it comes to large scale surveillance or huge backups between 50 and 100 users this amount of memory would be incredibly useful so if you are interested in getting hold of 16 gig of memory and installing it inside your Synology, you wanna go for the crucial memory and do follow the guide below in the description. Otherwise, do contact the guys at span.com. If you're worried about the setup or invalidating your warranty, they will help you every step of the way. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Do support this channel with a like if you enjoyed it or subscribe to keep me going and help you guys being informed about this topic. Cheerio, and I'll see you next time.